Hey everybody, so today I'm here to do a really exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you what we got Sophie for her third birthday. I just feel like there's a lot of different emotions around birthdays, but I always get really excited to give her her gifts because we try to pick things that are going to grow with her over the next year for like when she's going to be going towards four years old, which is hard to believe. But all in all, we tried to be a little bit more simplistic this year. I have a huge Toys R Us bag right next to me and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This was one of the only things Sophie asked for for her birthday and that is a baby Margaret doll. Some of you might know that Sophie has been obsessed with Daniel the Tiger and she is even more obsessed, I would say, with baby Margaret, which is his little sister. She actually calls Remy her little sister, baby Margaret, and she calls herself Daniel, so we had to get this for her it was something that she actually saw a couple times in store and she was in love with it so I really liked this one because it actually came with a blanket that you can wrap baby Margaret up in and I think she's just gonna flip out when she sees this and of course I will have a whole bunch of links down below for you guys to check out anything that I mentioned in this video next up is something else that she specifically asked for and that is a Pocahontas costume she wants this so bad she tells me every time she watches Pocahontas that she wants to look just like Pocahontas and she wants to dress up just like her. I found this at Target and I think, yeah, it does say right down here, Target only, so that's what I will link you guys. But when I ordered it, it was buy one, get one 50% off and we ordered Remy's actual Halloween costume from there. So it got a good deal on it. I was happy because I really had a hard time finding Pocahontas costumes. Luckily, thanks to Halloween, I was able to find that for her and make her little wish come true. And then I just have a few smaller presents before we get to the bigger present. And one of those is this the Bing Bong book. You guys might know that Sophie is obsessed with Inside Out and more specifically she loves imitating Bing Bong for whatever reason but it's a really cute book. I think it's really well illustrated too. It's just really funny. It does have a lot of words so I think it might be for older children but she will love us reading this to her and then along with inside out the preview before the movie starts is always the good dinosaur and she always asks to see it and I just wanted to buy an actual copy for us to own because I knew it would come with the digital and oh this actually comes with the DVD too opposed to just buying it online it was the same price so I got this for her she's super into dinosaurs and she's v been very curious about this movie so I'm excited to watch that with her because it does look like a really cute one lastly before the big present I got this next thing on a super super deal and it is the boogie board scribble and play some of you might know of the regular boogie board if you don't just look it up on Amazon it's just basically like a reusable pad you can see back here you just draw on it however the actual boogie board itself is I think more geared towards older children adults not to say like a younger kid couldn't play with it but this one specifically it has like rainbow underneath of it it has a few different tools that you can use with it that are clipped on there it's what those yellow pieces are right here um, but this was actually I think it was $11 at my Walmart on clearance and they're normally $25 and I actually opened this up in store because some of the reviews on Amazon said that their button to erase up here wasn't working and that's kind of the whole point of the boogie board and they are super super slim. I don't know if I can, yeah you can kind of see it. They're super like compact and everything but I actually opened this up in store. I made sure that it worked. I drew on it a little bit and then I erased it and it worked just fine. So we decided to go with this one just because it had more uh, like little things to go with it and I thought she might like the rainbows underneath. So I was really excited about that because it was something that we wanted to get her but normally they are around like $25, $35. Last up is Sophie's big present if you can call it that. It's just in terms of like everything that's involved with it is actually big we actually didn't spend that much I think everything all together we ended up spending around a hundred dollars on her birthday presents which I was very content with on Amazon some stuff was cheaper but in store some other stuff was cheaper and this next thing actually was cheaper in store but I will still link it for you and it is the leapfrog leap start now there's two different versions there is this version which is for kindergarten and first grade 
and then there's like a preschool version but the only difference really is is that the style of the holder is different and the stylus or the, like the little pen whatever you want to call it it's chunkier sophie has had pretty good hand control with stuff like that for a long time now so i felt like she didn't need the chunky stylus and i just wanted this one they both read all the books so it really doesn't matter but just for the pen this is the reason why i got this one but i actually found this for 25 dollars at toys r us and i don't know if it was on sale or on clearance technically but either way it was five dollars cheaper than on amazon so we got her that and to go with it we got her quite a few different books and i found that a lot of places are also clearancing out the books now sophie knows quite a bit of stuff and i went online and i researched what books to get her because i didn't want to get her ones that she was already going to know front to back so we decided to skip level one because she knew all the level one kind of stuff so we went straight to level two which is for between three to five year olds so i think it's pretty fitting a lot of these i got on clearance these first two i actually got on sale the same time i bought the leap start and they were on clearance one was seven one was five i can't really remember which one was which but the first one is the first day of school and it says it has explore school and classroom routines use calendar skills adjust to new situations and tasks it was really interesting i will be inserting a clip just kind of flipping through so you guys can get a feel for what it is but i thought that was really nice these are typically around 12 to 13 so when they were on clearance, I decided to get them. The next one is pre-K STEM with teamwork. And it says that it asks questions and make observations. Explore using trial, trial and error and use cooperative problem solving. And this one I thought looked really neat. It looked a little advanced for her. Actually, probably a lot advanced now that I'm flipping through it. But still something that she can grow in. The last level two one we got was the read and write with communication skills. This is the one we wanted to get her the most because she has been writing her own name for a little while. But this one also has, let me show you for a second, it has traced all the letters. They're uppercase and lowercase and we really, really wanted to get this one for her. So I'm super excited to see how well she does with this one. And then the last two this one i got at walmart it was literally like two dollars and even though it's a level three i felt like she could grow into it and i thought it was pretty cool but it's kid world atlas with global awareness and i thought this page in particular was really neat let me flip open to it but it has this and when you spin it, it has different words in different languages. And I just thought that was so neat. There's just different maps and all kinds of fun stuff in here. So again, it might not be something that she understands right away, but I still thought that this was really nice. And then lastly was the only one that I got at Target. It's the only one I paid full price for, which was I think $13, but I had to. It is a level three trolls. It says it's solve it all with poppy and branch problem solving and creative expression uh sophie's birthday party is going to be troll themed so i just had to it looked really cute some of it really does seem like it's way too advanced for her it says practice logic skills to solve problems design pictures using shape and colors and create rhythm and music but it is trolls i thought we could just have fun even just looking at all the stuff and i don't know you know just growing into things i just couldn't after i saw this front page right here i was sold so i'm really excited there's a lot of books but sophie really loves those kind of activities where she can play by herself and really concentrate on things she loves those kind of things so i really feel like she's going to enjoy this leap start a ton it's probably going to be in a favorite toy video coming up soon i'm sure and all the other stuff i felt like it was little but i also felt like with christmas coming up it was more than reasonable and she got a little bit of everything that she's been asking for so that is everything that we got sophie for her third birthday i will be doing a third birthday haul with other presents that she might get if you're looking for more toy ideas for different ages i will link a playlist down below of all my different toy videos i've done suggestions from all the way from birth to two years old so i will have that linked down below but i hope you guys enjoy the video and as always thanks for watching